This week, we're talking about a wide range of subjects in the cloud. I'm Terry Ryan, and welcome to This Week in Cloud, where we serve you the lowest latency news. Google Kubernetes Engine is a great place to run your containers, and running Windows doesn't change that. Check out this post for a step-by-step -step guide to running a Windows container on GKE. And don't worry, we've got plenty of code samples to give you a running start in the right direction. So copy-paste and get your Windows containers running on Google Kubernetes Engine. Moving some or all of your business to the cloud often comes with a lot of benefits, and that's certainly true for data warehouses. Still, there are challenges, from upfront investment to handling security risks to making sure you only move what you need to move. This post discusses the most frequent questions that come up from our customers and help you answer them. Cloud functions and other serverless options work great when your whole stack auto scales. But what if your app depends on APIs or databases with rate limits or connection pools? Don't worry. In this post, we'll teach you all the strategies for making serverless play nice with the rest of your stack, from tweaking max instance settings, leveraging cloud tasks, using stateful storage, or plugging in cloud pups up. We've even got a decision tree for when you need to use each strategy. Fairness in data and machine learning algorithms is critical to designing safe and responsible AI systems from the ground up. Learn how to apply fairness analysis at every step of the model development process. Then, grab the code samples, and get started using the What If tool to produce ML models that are fair for everyone. If you want to read more about these announcements or just see the full list, check out the link. Have any thoughts or ideas? Leave us a comment or tweet us, and we'll see you in the cloud.